right, let's construct an inscribed hexagon. So I'm going to just create a circle with any radius here. Now to understand the inscribed hexagon construction, I would refer you to the inscribed equilateral triangle construction first. But uh, I'll kind of teach as we go a little bit here. It's very similar. It has uh, a similar structure to equilateral triangle. So I create the diameter uh, for sake of ease. We'll call this A and we'll call this B. I am going to then take my compass and create an arc that is the same radius as the original circle. We'll call this C and D. Now, I go through, if you're interested, why this forms a 60-degree a uh, increment here along the arc. Or maybe I'll just do it quickly if you haven't watched the other uh, videos first. But basically, this length is equal to A to C, because I use the same arc length, and it's equal to the center to C as well. There is a nice little equilateral triangle formed at the center, which tells us this is 60 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. So if we continue on here, we could make a mark here as well as here, and it will also form another equilateral triangle in there. Actually, I'll fill those in in just a minute. Um, let me first fill in the hexagon, and then I'll show you where all these beautiful little equilaterals are hiding. So these points here, better do some more labeling here. E up to B to F over here. There's our hexagon. And part of, I guess, what I want to show you is why that's working is inside, behind the scenes, there are six beautiful equilateral triangles. And they are what make the hexagon work. Is that by using the same radius as the original circle, we continued to make equilateral triangles, thus forming our beautiful inscribed hexagon.